Okay, Kirk. We've done 14 episodes of Cruising with Kirk. Season one is over and we're on to season two. And we've got to go bigger and better. Who can we get on the show that people are going to watch? I know a few people. Kirk, you always know a few people. But we need somebody that everyone in Wichita is going to know about. Look, just trust me, okay? I'm Wichita's real estate agent. I'll get somebody. Let's get in the Kirkmobile and we'll go meet him at his place. All right? Come on. You ready? I guess. Got me all dressed up. We're on the road. We've been driving a few minutes. Can you finally tell me where you're taking us? I've got the mayor. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That no, would be nice. No, then. no, no, really. I've got the mayor, Jeff Longwell. I've got the mayor, Jeff Longwell. You got the mayor? I got the mayor. I told you I knew a few people. Okay, let's go. All right. I got the mayor. Jeff Longwell is Wichita's mayor, but you knew that. Check out this episode and listen to the mayor and me talk about how great our city really is. Hey guys, Kirk Short here with the Wichita home team at Keller Williams. And I am uh, honored to have Mayor Jeff Longwell with us today on this episode of Cruising with Kirk. And we're gonna go take a little bit of time to uh, hopefully get to know the mayor a little bit better. Uh, we've seen what he's done here with the city. Now let's go find out a little bit about him. Does that sound good, Mr. Longwell? Sounds great. Right. So there's a few things I would love to know about you. Okay. You are the mayor of this wonderful city we call Wichita. Yes, sir. And uh, I don't think a lot of people know Sort of what brought you into being the mayor? So it's a rather boring story, actually. I uh, grew up in this city and was running a very successful graphics company. And one of the owners suggested I get more involved in uh, the community and suggested I um, take a look at a school board seat that had become open and encouraged me to go run and Obviously, we were successful, spent 12 years on a local school board, and during that time met some local politicians, and the council person for my district said, hey, you're doing great things on the school board, why don't you run for city politics? And I said, I have no real desire, and ultimately was talked into running and successful, and spent eight years at that. Someone suggested I run for mayor. And Obviously, four years ago was successful at competing in that election that had 10 candidates at the time running, and um, and here we are in a community I love. I want to know more about you. Um, <laughs> what what hobbies do you have? Oh my lord, I'm not sure I have too many hobbies. Don't have time for them right now. I used to uh, build and race cars at one time oh, when I really? was younger. I had a 10-second quarter mile an hour Chevy Nova, which in the 70s, that was really fast. That's, that, that, that is pretty impressive uh, for back then. I used to study Taekwondo, actually traveled around the Midwest to tournaments when I was younger, kind of gave that up. Now I'm into much safer hobbies like golf. <laughs> So what's your what's your average score? Oh, if on a good day I can break ninety, and and that's a that's a good score for me. So let me ask you this: Let's just say that time wasn't a constraint. What would you love to sit there and and go and do? What's on your bucket list? Um, so you know I've had the good fortune to travel all over the 
United States. I've been to pretty much every major metropolitan city in the country, and my wife and I are really not travelers anymore. There mm -hmm. may be a few places we'd like to see. We're more interested in hanging out with family and grandkids than we are traveling, and get to spend a little more time with our kids and grandkids. We'd be happy. Have a uh, daughter-in-law that's now in the food truck business so we oh, like really? to get out and help her once in a while if we can. What's the name of the food truck? So Lolo's Crepes. Lolo's Crepes. I absolutely love uh, love crepes so I'm going to have to uh, have to try them out. Yeah. yeah. Shameless plug from the mayor for uh, for an awesome exactly. food truck, right? Exactly. <laughs> Wichita. It's really neat to see a lot of the Wichita pride that showing, you know, people sporting the Wichita flag. What are you most proud about when you think of Wichita and you think of its its evolution over the course of the last um, decade? Three years ago, in fact, about the time I took office, there was a survey that was done that just simply asked Wichitans uh, what they felt about their city and would they like to continue to call this city home. and at the time it was pretty dismal numbers it was before we really saw the flag take off and yeah. then there was a survey done recently and we moved the needle on that perception and and the folks that have fallen in love with wichita and we now are equal to pretty much every city in the midwest the omaha's the oklahoma cities and we're closer to that um, 40 some percentile range that people say I truly love this place which is as you get near 50 percent range that's about as good as you'll see in a lot of Midwest cities right so to move at that many points in such a short time certainly brings a lot of satisfaction not to myself but the entire city council that's working so hard and you know driving by venues like this that didn't exist before until just about a year ago and the wave and um, you know seeing all of the investments that people are making the queue line's a great success story so we improved the queue line a couple of years ago before we improved the frequency and extended the hours we were only getting about 4,000 riders a year after the improvements the first year that we did the improvements we increased it from 4,000 riders a year to over a hundred and twenty thousand riders. That's a, that's impressive. And it just tells you that people were hungry for those kinds of amenities. If you do it the right way, um, they'll utilize them. And and it's really helped. I will say the entire city have a different vibe to it. We're seeing improvements all over the city for the first time ever. Yeah. South Wichita with many improvements including a new complex at Seneca and 235 South, new camping outdoor world and a new water park that's going to be a pretty neat feature, a new warehouse district of course Greenwich and uh, 96 corridor area has exploded with opportunities. Absolutely. And, and the river corridor, obviously, with the new library, River Vista, and the new ballpark, and a group out of Kansas City um, developers called EPC are going to develop a new mixed use space with apartments on top, and they're ready to break ground. And when you see people dis make the decision that they would rather invest in Wichita versus yep. their own hometown of Kansas City because they believe they'll get a better return on investment says volumes about where this community's at. I love sitting there watching all the improvements. Let's just say the non-business stuff that's going on. You've got, you, like you started to talk about the, the enhancement of the river corridor, all the biking lanes and stuff like that that have been put in around Wichita from clear west to east and I've been on those and, and right along the river and, and those are continually being improved. Some of these micro breweries that are going in and really change the dynamics of our city and they're just um, a much different vibe than there was in this town just four short years ago. One of the things that um, I've started to do here um, this year with my social media. I have a new series um, just called Wichita Hometown Highlights, and you know it's for that it's for that same reason. There's, there are a lot of things right. to sit there and do, 
in a lot of ways to explore the city and a lot of different um, cultural vibes right. that are out there. We're seeing more people be who who they are. Um, I see our art scene thriving Absolutely. Uh, more than it has in a long time. And I'm, I'm excited to see that continue to um, evolve because it just brings so much diversity to, to our community. Really what's created the excitement for that next generation to say, I want to, I want to stay in Wichita. That's, that's very welcoming to see. From uh, from myself, seriously, I'm I'm proud to have you as my mayor. Well, my pleasure, and thank you for allowing us to uh, reach a different audience. Maybe people will get to know me a little bit differently. You know, I've been my wife and I are celebrating our 39th uh, anniversary this year. Well, congrats on yeah, that! So she's she's been able to put up with me for 39 plus years. <laughs> that that says a lot. That says a whole lot as it relates to it. Absolutely. So thank you. I've got I've got a couple things here before I sit there and go. So first of all, you know I'm a realtor. Absolutely. So I have to have my shameless plug. Absolutely. Okay? And I'm going to start with saying, Mayor, you have a lot of people that are watching you. So if you know of anybody that is looking to buy or sell, and since you know all these people, I right. just decided to bring a bunch a, a of few business, business cards <laughs> and and I, I'm going to give we'll, these to we'll you to pass hold on around. to. Absolutely. And guys, for all of you that are watching, I want to thank you for, for watching this episode of Cruising with Kirk. Um, don't forget to uh, find us on Facebook, the Wichita Home Team, and like us. And uh, check us out on YouTube with the Wichita Home Team. And like us, follow us, share us, comment. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And again, thank Mayor, you. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>